Welcome back for another episode in this series on Windows 365. If you missed some of the other parts, there should be a link to the playlist up here or down in the description. This video's topic is backup and restore. And yeah, I know it's not the sexiest of topics, but it's still a necessity. Windows 365 has its own built-in backup and restore functionality, so that will be the main focus, but we'll also touch upon other options. I'll show you how backup and restore is configured in Windows 365, how an admin can restore a single or multiple cloud PCs, how an end user can initiate restores, as well as give you some tips along the way. Let's get to it. As I mentioned, we will mainly be discussing the built-in backup and restore functionality, but before we dig into that, let's just quickly cover some of the options. So as the cloud PCs basically are just virtual machines, you can do pretty much anything you want with them. And that includes installing any backup agents you are currently using. If you, for example, have an existing infrastructure for Veeam or any other backup solution, then you can most likely use that. And backing up your cloud PCs to an external location is a good approach. The 3 to one approach to backup has been the norm for as long as I can remember. Three copies of your data on two different media types and one off-site copy. Keep in mind that the keyword here is data. And using cloud PCs, you are perhaps already using other cloud services like OneDrive, Dropbox, Teams, SharePoint for storage. If so, then you are arguably already fulfilling the 3 to one approach. But yeah, backing up your data, even when you store that in Microsoft Cloud Services to another provider is a good idea. What's also a good idea is to have a way to do bare metal recovery or simply restoring a cloud PC to a previous state without having to redeploy or reprovision it. And that is something you cannot do with a third party solution. As of now, the only way to restore a cloud PC is to use Windows 365's built in functionality for a point in time restore. According to Microsoft, the point in time restore feature for Windows 365 lets an administrator restore a cloud PC to the exact state it was at an earlier point in time. It's not going to be the exact state, it will be as if you pulled the power on it, but that's nitpicking. What the point in time restore function does is to take snapshots or restore points of your cloud PCs at given intervals and allow you to restore back to one of those restore points. And you will have two kinds of restore points, short term and long term. For Windows 365 Business, the intervals for short term restore points is every 12 hours and every seven days for long term restore points. For Windows 365 Enterprise, you can choose the intervals for the short term restore points. And the options are 4, 6, 12, 16, and 24 hours. Long term restore points for Windows 365 Enterprise have the same intervals as for the business flavor, seven days. These restore points doesn't have a specified lifetime, but you are limited to a total of 10 short-term restore points and four long-term restore points. Once you have reached that limit, the oldest restore point will be overwritten when the time comes to create a new restore point. But I've been talking way too long now. Let's get to some demos, shall we? From an admin's perspective, all of the configuration and management of your cloud PCs will be done in the Endpoint Manager Admin Center, that includes also doing restores. So if I want to restore a cloud PC, I would go over to devices here on the left and then down to Windows 365, all cloud PCs, and then click on the machine that I want to restore. So for example, if I want to restore this one here, I will click on it. Then I have the options to restore it here. And here you see the list of restores points that I can restore to. I'll click one of them and select, click restore and the restore is initiated. Now you can follow along here and see the progress and see when it, once it's done. Now the user in this case doesn't get any information that a restore is initiated. If they were logged on to their cloud PC, they will simply see it shutting down and they will be none the wiser. They will get an error message stating no connection or something like that when they try to connect. But other than that, they don't really know that a restore is in progress. So Keep that in mind when restoring your user's cloud PCs. You as an admin also have the option to restore multiple cloud PCs at once. And the way to do that is to head on over to devices in this case and windows, and then select the bulk device actions. We will select windows as the operating system. And for device action, we will select restore. 
Now, here you have the option to specify a time for when you want the, the cloud PCs to be restored to. So if I want to have them restored to, for example, yesterday, I would go one day back. And the selection beneath here, the select restore point time range, allows me to select whether or not I want the restore point before that exact date and time that I specified or after or whichever is closest because not all cloud PCs have their snapshots taken at the same time so there could be differences. One cloud PC could have their snapshot taken at 1 p.m. and one other cloud PC can have their snapshot taking at, taken at 2 p.m. for example. So in my case I will select whichever is closest in this case and then I'll hit next and now I can select which devices to include. There is a maximum of 100 as of now. So I can do both of these cloud PCs. Hit select and then next and create, which will then initiate the restore on both of these cloud PCs. Now, if I want to check the status of these two, I can go back to devices and to Windows 365, all cloud PCs. And we'll see that both of my cloud PCs are in the status of restoring. Like I mentioned earlier, Windows 365 Business doesn't have any configuration of these intervals, but Windows 365 Enterprise does. So in order to configure that, we can head on over to user setting here and then click on add and then we'll give it a name. And you can see you can enable local admin if you want to add your users as local admins on their cloud PCs as well. That has nothing to do with backup, but still an option here. Now for point in time restore service here, you can select whether or not to allow the users to initiate restores themselves, which can be nice, can also cause you some troubles. So select what fits best for your organization. And the frequency, as I mentioned earlier, it's four hours, six hours, 12, 16 or 24 hours. So if I select the default 12 hours here and I'll hit next, then I need to select the group of users which this user setting should apply to. So if I go to add groups here, I can choose one of my groups, hit select and then next and create. And then that user setting and policy will apply to any user within that group and their cloud PCs. Now, if you opt for the option to allow your users to initiate the restores themselves, they can do so either from the, their browser or from the Windows 365 app. So if you head on over to my client here, we can see how that looks. Here I am in the browser. I'm on windows365.microsoft.com. And if I click on these ellipses, you can see that I have in a restore option. Click it and select yes, I want to restore this. And then I can select the restore point I want to restore to. Click on that again and then click restore to initiate the restore of my cloud PC. If I were to do this from the Windows 365 app, it will be much the same. Clicking on the ellipses, clicking on restore. Yes, I want to restore the cloud PC and then select the restore point and click restore. So that's how easy it is to initiate the restore from both from the user side and the admin side. I do also want to mention that one thing to keep in mind when doing these kinds of restores is that if you are in a hybrid scenario where your cloud PCs are joined to AD as well, then you might end up in a case where you restore back to before a rolling password was updated and that might break the trust relationship between your cloud PC and AD. And if that happens, you are left with no option other than to actually reprovision your cloud PC because you can't take it out of the domain and join it back in. So keep that in mind as well. And that's it for backup and restore. I do quickly just want to mention disaster recovery in the midst of this because that's also fun, right? Well, Windows 365 doesn't have any disaster recovery options per se, but Windows 365 Enterprise Cloud PCs are resilient across Azure's availability zones in that if you try to restore a Cloud PC and the infrastructure it was previously hosted on is unavailable, well, then it will be hosted on another zone in the same region automatically. I'll leave some more links down in the description if you want to read more about backup and restore in Windows 365, but that's all I have for now. Make sure to, you know, subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss the next part in the series. Click the like button if this video provided any type of value to you, and as always, comment with your questions or any feedback. Cheers!